Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Cobra here. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick video explaining the different types of currencies in the game The Grand Mafia. So there are three main types of currencies that I'm going to go over. There are others that are related to events, um, but I'm not going to go over any of those because those, you know, come and go. We're just going to go over the ones that are actual, you know, permanent ones. So the first one is you're going to go to t the tasks button at the bottom, go to daily tasks, and you see on the right side there is a task shop. So completing these activeness things every day will earn you these rewards, which give you daily task points. So then you go to the task shop, you can see I have 34,000, and you have different options of what you can buy with them. I like to save them up and use them as I need. You can get a direct relocator with 37,500. If you're a hire and you have good research, you know, you can get specialty USB drive, mannequin design, or a building permit. Uh, what I like to do is save them up. And if I need something, you know, I also like to do this. If I have, you know, if I'm off by 50, I'll give myself 50 with those. So it's just a little cool thing to have. There's not a whole lot of options. So I recommend either these three right here, you know, that you can use to upgrade your buildings or the direct locator. Um, I don't recommend the building permit. It's a lot easier to just use gold on that because that takes days and days and days to get there. So those would be my recommendations for that. The next shop is going to be the faction shop so you earn faction coins by participating in events opening gifts and donating and helping your uh, faction mates up to a certain point per day these are going to earn you these faction coins there is a lot more you can get from these my recommendation my favorite thing to get with them is the specialties resetter so you don't have to spend a thousand gold on it because you get probably ninety thousand or more of these a day just by being active so this allows you to reset set your specialties so you can see i could buy nine of these if i wanted so that's what i typically would spend mine on there's a few other things you know direct relocator is another good one if you really need you can even get three hour speed ups however that's a little bit expensive no, I can only get nine, so a little over a day. But if it's really needed for an upgrade, you can always do that too. But my recommendation would be either direct re relocator or specialties resetter. Or, you know, according to what your needs are, if you need a recovery kit, you can get it there. You know, a few other things um, that I'm not going to go over. The other one is going to be the gold shop. So if you go back to inventory, you can see broker. So this now is going to be where you can use your gold. There are a ton of options you can use your gold for, whether it be these. You can see there are absolute tons of them. There's crates, there's speed ups, there's resources, all kinds of stuff. My actual recommendation for these, if you do not already have them maxed, is to use them on things to upgrade your faction club because this is going to give you bigger raid sizes and help you and your faction out a lot they get to the point where like you can see i need 2200 more of these so if i try and do this i can get 114 if i use these i can get 596 or i can just buy a thousand of them for ten thousand gold it's expensive but it's a lot easier and quicker than trying to actually save up all of these items. Uh, that is my recommendation for gold. If you do not already have that up to max, if you do, then, you know, use it to speed up resource or er, researches or trainings, whatever you need there. Or if you need, Kind of on a case-to-case -case basis. If you need a teleport, use it for a teleport. It's kind of something you can use for pretty much anything. Just because it is like the... I don't want to call it the premium currency. But it is the... <clears throat> sorry. 
the biggest currency. So those are just the main three types. You've got the task shop, which, you know, there's not a whole lot of usage, but you can use it for relocators or for the uh, three items to upgrade your buildings. Then there's the faction shop, which has a ton more options. Um, and so went over that. And then the gold shop. If there are other events, sometimes they will have points and shops as well. Uh, but those comes and goes. If there's any, you know, I'll try and make videos on the events as they come. That way I can cover those as well. But these are just the main ones that are going to be here all the time. Hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Any tips or suggestions, also let me know. And please like and subscribe.